What are the differences between feather and parquet? Both are columnar, disk storage formats for use in data analysis systems. Both are integrated within Apache Arrow, Pyro package for Python, and are designed to correspond with Arrow as a columnar in memory analytics layer. How do both formats differ? Should you always prefer Feather when working with Pandas when possible? What are the use cases where Feather is more suitable than Parquet and the other way round? Appendix I found some hints here, this URL, but given the young age of this project, it's possibly a bit out of date. Not a serious speed test because I'm just dumping and loading a whole data frame, but to give you some impression if you never heard of the formats before. Parquet format is designed for long-term storage, where Arrow is more intended for short-term or ephemeral storage. Arrow may be more suitable for long-term storage after the 1.0.0 release happens, since the binary format will be stable then. Parquet is more expensive to write than Feather as it features more layers of encoding and compression. Feather is unmodified raw columnar Arrow memory. We will probably add simple compression to Feather in the future. Due to dictionary encoding, rule encoding, and data page compression, Parquet files will often be much smaller than Feather files. Parquet is a standard storage format for analytics that's supported by many different systems, Spark, Hive, Impala, various AWS services, and Future by BigQuery, etc. So if you are doing analytics, Parquet is a good option as a reference storage format for query by multiple systems. The benchmarks you showed are going to be very noisy since the data you read and wrote is very small. You should try compressing at least 100 MB or upwards 1 GB of data to get some more informative benchmarks, see for example, this URL. I would also include in the comparison between Parquet and Feather different compression methods to check for importing slash exporting speeds and how much storage it uses. I advocate for two options for the average user who wants a better CSV alternative. Parquet with zip compression, for storage, it is slightly faster to export than just CSV. If the CSV needs to be zipped, then Parquet is much faster. Importing is about 2x times faster than CSV. The compression is around 22% from the original file size, which is about the same as zipped CSV files. Feather with ZSTD compression, for IO speed, compared to CSV, Feather exporting has 20x faster exporting and about 6x times faster importing. The storage is around 32% from the original file size, which is 10% worse than Parquet zip and CSV zip, but still decent. Both are better options than just normal CSV files in all categories, ISB and storage. I analyze the following formats. CSV, CSV using zip compression, Feather using ZSTD compression, Feather using LZ4 compression, Parquet using snappy compression, Parquet using zip compression, Parquet using broadly compression.
Observations Feather seems better for lightweight data, as it writes and loads faster. Parquet has better storage ratios. Feather library support and maintenance made me initially concerned, however the file format has good integration with pandas and I could install the dependencies using Conda for the ZSTD compression method. Best storage by far is Parquet with Brotley compression, however it takes too long to export. It has a good import speed once the exporting is done, but still is 2.5x slower importing than Feather. I'm going to show you how you can see it on the first